Well, welcome and good evening, you wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this is Let's Play in Sound Mind. OBS Chan's working just fine. So let's hop into this new game. A true survival horror for experienced players. Well, I've never played this game before, and I've never seen any footage of it, so I have no idea what's going to happen, and I have no idea what buttons do what. But I assume the A button makes me jump, which means I must be qualified to play it on hard! My loading screen's a kitty. This chair is uncomfortable. They say curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> I killed the cat. Your name's Curiosity. Curiosity only brought her to me. You brought something to yourself. <coughs> Sounds like my trip to the fridge. Well, at least the electricity's fine. You know, the uh, transformers are out of the water, which means everything is perfectly fine, and we can still watch our regularly scheduled shows on the telly. Do I need an aquarium? If, you know, I can just go to the parking lot? Okay. Basement floor, I have plus 100 life. I'm... I'm a success Get down here. because numbers, I guess. Collect things. Notice catastrophe. I'm just looking at the word cat. Forget everything. Life as you know it is now out the window. All indicators are indicating. Well, do I have food here? I don't even need to worry about the monster killing me. I'm just gonna like get stuck against a damn shelf and get tetanus. What do I fuck 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 you? I'm just going to the door. Collect and interact with what? Like there's stuff up there. Yes, but I can't fly. Well, can you climb this? No. Heaven forbid I ever have to do parkour in a timely fashion. Ow! Can't fit through the fence. That'd probably be a pretty gory death right there. You yeah, know, if you could. Can't. Yeah, I, I assumed that. A is always jump. I like looked at the A like expecting it to have changed like all of a sudden it was like oh it's Greek letters we use Zeta to jump here yep that's safe I kinda like it well I appear to be dying Well, we're just sitting here listening to Infected Mushroom using the wavy cap from, uh, the Behind of Isaac. Reloading. <coughs> My impatience. I probably expected to look at this again. Okay. Wait, toggle text. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, neat. Up, oh, yep. Sprint is click. T -t -t 
Nope, I can't do a slide. Okay, do not touch. At least, oh, I do have a sprint meter. At least I don't have like a bladder meter. I can't. How do I do this? Oh, my arms aren't long enough. I, 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 I can't get out of the purple. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Nope, can't double jump. What do I do? When in doubt, just go around poking everything. That's not a good dating strategy. I might be able to break this with something. I might be able to break this with something. Just shove your face and hands into it. And by had something, you probably mean that. How do I get to it? I might be able to break this one. This looks weak. I feel this looks weak. Okay, <laughs> so storage. You know what? Brightness. I can't see shit. <sighs> oh my god, feel For, well first off I want to be able to see what's happening. Everything's too dark, I can't see. There, now I can find whatever it is they want me to find. Very curious about this. I, I need to know what my 60. So our field of view is 60. Goes up to 90. Okay. <coughs> Go down to 45. This way, the monsters will seem closer. I do feel like I'm moving slow. Is there um, there's camera sensitivity, but I don't think that's gonna make me move faster. Oh, well, we'll switch it back to a normal. Can I just get sixty? Whatever. That's close enough. Yeah. Okay, so... It's too dark in here. Can't see anything. Great. I don't know what you want me to do here. Just go in here. It's too dark in here. I'm going to interact with everything, even though I can't see any. And here's the thing: I even have the brightness turned all the way up. So what would? Sorry, face was a G. Uh... So how does this affect things? 
Pretty dim. Yep, really dark. It's too dark in here. Can't see anything. Wow. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll go almost maximum brightness because, you know, need to actually be able to see what I'm doing. Not that it really matters. I don't know what do I need. If I need whatever that is, I can't get to it. I feel like I need Navi here to help me. Except I don't want her to be just a floating fairy. I want her to be like a six foot tall, sexy martial arts, you know. Yeah. Ah, so would a K cup tit size be too big? Because at that point, each boob would be like three pounds. Is that is that excessive? I'm just trying to think of like what's the most awkward and unexpected way I could have Navi exist in any genre of a game. I'm just saying this. Imagine this in the horror game and you have, you know, a six foot tall woman standing next to you who's a very fit martial artist who has K cup sized tits. How awkward and uncomfortable could that be in the pro in the concept of the game? It's like, it's not uncanny valley in terms of perception, it's uncanny reality, like, the just, the genres are just so confused. Can I just, like, pick this up and throw it like fucking Donkey Kong? You guys remember those games, right? I never really care for the whole Donkey Kong thing on SNES. I liked Super Mario World. Here. Honestly, I think I would really like it if... Nintendo released Super Mario World on Steam because I refused to get an emulator. Because it was really fun with Super Mario World. Because you could do stuff like play the game like a normal person. Or do things I would do like to see if, how fast you can play the game. Or run non-stop. Or try to avoid all power-ups. Try to avoid all coins. Try to beat everything. Try to beat the game without dying. Try to hold crouch the entire time. Use only spin jumps. I have no clue. You know, I'm sorry I'm spacing out. I'm like one generally confused about what the fuck I'm doing, and also I'm thinking about the uh, fictional six-foot-tall Navi I mentioned. And I'm just imagining sound effects like boing, boing, you know. I'm just saying perkiness and the ability to defy gravity with an excessive amount of just Yo, know, fuck any sense of moderation. How do... Obviously I have to break through that one vent to go around. But I have nothing... I don't have martial arts powers! There's a cinder block. Why... Why am I not just carrying the cinder block on a stick? I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to look up a guide. Then again, I remember one point I tried playing a game called Madison. And it was just after a while, which is, well, it's just, I imagine, boring to watch me, you know, not succeed at a puzzle. This isn't even a puzzle. 
This is just watch me fail basic fucking directions. Like, there should be something very obvious for me to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's no highlighted, like the only highlighted thing is over there, but apparently I need something to break that too. So what do I need? Like, the way it's set up, I'm obviously meant to come in here. But... Let's see if I have any sort of... It's like, is there a Super Saiyan? Wait, wait, what? That eye cursor has me a little concerned. This looks like, weak. Looks fragile. Can I... What if I just dash into it repeatedly? You know, press the B button, because the B button is... Nope, that's a different game. I don't know what to do. Well, we're going to call that a part, because at this point, I don't know what to do, and it's just really boring to watch me just not know what the hell is happening. I have a question. What if you, like, modded Yoshi into this game? And just you were riding a Yoshi? Or just, like, how it would look? That's another thing. If, if Pokemon games were on Steam, I'd probably do a Nuzlocke. Which would definitely end in failure. Can I just beat things with a fire extinguisher? Okay. Well, I don't know how to progress. So I'm going to have to look up a guide. Bye, everybody.